Hello. How's it going, Bridge? How's it going, Moonlit? Hope you're doing well. Let me get this game launched. Here goes. So funny story, right when I was um, getting set up for stream, I was like, all right, got to make my bed and stuff. And Harvey was just sleeping right in the middle of the bed. And like the blankets were all folded over. So I was like, all right, you know what? I'll just uncurl the blanket. I'll try to like sprawl it out the best I can, you know? Um, as soon as I start messing with stuff, he's like, I'm out of here. Fuck this. No, you've disturbed me. I'm leaving. Um, I expected. Unfortunately expected. But once I was just like, all right, I give up. I'm just going to put stuff the way it was. Just stretch out the blanket. He was like, you know what? No. Right in the middle of the bed. This is where I want to be. You're done messing with things now. I just want to go back to where I was. His dumb little face. <laughs> hold up, hold up, ready? <laughs> Look at his little face. Just... That's Harvey. That's my Harvey impression. Alright. Bridge, you're hanging in there. I'm glad that you're hanging in there. I hope that you have a good week and and all of that. Let me... Uh, there we- there it is. I was like, where's the game? There it goes. Alright. Let's get this loaded up. Yeah, it's definitely- it's a weird time right now. Like, just with everything happening in the world right now, it's like, it's just- everything has escalated. Even, like, emotions are escalating. Um, like, I'm sure you've noticed, but something I've started paying attention to more is how angry everyone is right now. Um, there's little bird dots in here, and I want them. Yeah, this game is stunning, Bridge. I highly recommend it. Um, have you played Journey or... Let's, let me think. Journey. This is kind of Breath of the Wild-y, actually. Uh, it's, it's like... The way I've been describing it is that this game is Breath of the Wild if you only did the Divine Beasts and Korok Seeds. Uh, so we've done this quest already, this little puzzly area. We have enough... enough sigils to unlock the next tower. So we can start moving in that direction at least. There's like a big... I assume that's like our final boss land what that looks like. We got another tower over there. Maybe not. I think I'm, like, getting close to the end of the game. We might finish it today, but I'm not 100% certain. Not 100% certain. Have we been here yet? Ooh, I don't think so. Let's see what's in this big tower. So is the bird really strong or are we really light? I, that You know what? That's a good question. I will say that this game, if I, I don't think you, I have shown you already, but this game has the best mechanic in the whole world, which is the pet the bird mechanic. It's just game of the year. Top tier game. Just... Look, even even the wings like ripple a little bit when you touch them. I it's just nothing could make me happier. Uh I guess we can't go up here. Oh. Okay. 
Right, Bridge, you gotta pet the bird. Oh, I see a way in? Yeah. Uh, I know what that is. And I know what that is. Uh, 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 um. Let's try going up again. Okay. Maybe I should have started at the top of this tower and then worked my way down. What was I thinking? Aha! Oh, heck yeah. Okay, so that's done. Just making sure if we did the other one, it didn't do something different. Well, cool. That's what I mean by Korok seeds, by the way. That, like, there's all these little optional things. Pika, hello. How are you? I hope things are, are good. How am I? I'm doing, doing okay. You know, it's... Things are getting weird in terms of, like quarantine -y COVID stuff, and I know that, like, we all don't really want to talk about that because it's just, like, so freaking tiring, but it's getting weird out there. No denial. Oh, man. It's moving. Damn it. It's moving. But, uh, but personally, the new year has been treating me pretty well. I've been, uh, back to work. And just kind of back to the daily grind. Oh, ugh. Look, the hands. The hands are so freaky. All right, that's our. That's where we're going. I'm gonna lurky and play some Terraria. Sounds fun. Enjoy. I had some good spells playing that game. It's funny, I played Starbound uh, before I played Terraria. But when I played Starbound, it was in early access, I think. And so, man, what a bad spawn. I, I've got to get across, but he's always going to walk through here. Oh, there we go. Don't worry about me. Just ignore me. I'm just getting my bird. <sighs> oh god, please look away. Good. Alright. I really didn't want to lose all my bird points. That would have been a disaster. Okay. Come here, bird. Let me heal you. Um... What was I saying? I went on, like, so many little tangent thoughts there. Um, uh, the New Year's been treating me quite well. Yeah, I'm- I'm doing fine. It's just sort of, like, adjusting to this new world we live in, I guess. Um. But what about you? Are you doing good? I hope you're doing good. And do I play Genshin? I don't- I don't even know if I'm saying it right. <laughs> I've seen it, though. I'm not huge on multiplayer games in general. There's not a whole lot that I've played. Let's go do this one. Uh, alright, we got- we got a fire. We got somewhere to start. Excellent. Ooh. Oh. That's cool. 
It's all ice. Oh, you can play solo? Oh, sick. Yeah, I thought it had that, like, MMO kind of thing going on. But to, to be honest, I didn't really know much about it. Regardless. It's free, right? Like, it's a free, gra a free game. Perfect. So we got that one. Uh, I guess we need this one. Maybe not, but... You've been grinding? Yeah. Uh. And yeah, it's free. Cool. Yeah, I, I've seen it. I've definitely seen it a lot. I, um... I uh, just assumed it was, like, multiplayer, so I never really bothered checking it out, but it's probably to my detriment. Alright, let's see. How can we do this? Hmm, okay, so let's try higher up angle. There we go. There it is. Did it! We did it! Alright, alright. With these, it's kind of interesting as they, if there's ever those little light balls in the way, it uh, becomes a whole issue. All right, so how do we get the fire over? Oh, it doesn't even, hmm, okay. Maybe if we just stand right there. Please. Why? Why you- why no? I don't understand. Game? Game, please. Why did it not work? Oh, I see it. There's a torch there. Alright. Oh, but it's lit now. I guess I did it? There it is. All right. Not for everyone, but it's uh, worth a try since it's free. Yeah, absolutely. Like, if it's free, like, why not check it out? It's fun getting new characters to figure out the perfect team for you. Cool. Yeah, like, I don't know if it would be the game that, uh, uh, game for me, but, like, I'm not going to completely discount it before even trying it when it's completely free, right? Like... That's silly. I almost am gonna have another jump. Uh, I do have, like, so many games to play. I'm, like, really excited about the next couple weeks for streaming. I, um, I picked up, uh, a few games. I feel like I'm gonna sneeze. It's... It, that, that, like, feeling when you're about to sneeze and you don't want to commit to the sneeze yet, right? Because it might go away. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna blow my nose. This is this is ludicrous. Oh, sorry. The other thing is, like, whenever I blow my nose, I have to straighten my nose ring. <laughs> Sometimes I forget about it, and then I take, like, I I'm, like, the whole stream with it just, like, sideways. And it's, like, it I'm so small on this little camera that you'd never notice, but it makes me feel silly when I notice it later. Thanks, Pika. <laughs> if you start playing by this month, you get a free current limited characters. Ooh. I should at least install it. Let's see. So there's this tower up here. It looks like there's another one over there that I have to unlock. So maybe I can just do this one while I'm here. I always worry that like if I do the tower, it might accelerate the game when I'm not quite ready to leave the area. 
I still want to, like, explore a bit more. Uh, but yeah, so during the Steam sale, um, during the Steam sale, I picked up the Outer Wilds DLC. Very, very excited to play that, Echoes of the Eye. Uh, I also picked up uh, Trover Saves the Universe, which, like, I might, so it, we'll see. We'll see how it is. Um, I used to like Rick and Morty a lot. These days, not as much, but um, I heard good things about the game, so I'm hoping that it it's it's good. I just I know Justin Roiland's humor, and it's hit or miss with me. Sometimes I think it's hilarious, and other times I'm like, okay, I get it, I get the joke. Whoa. Wow, this is so cool from up here. Um, there's so much stuff, like, everywhere. There's, like, a fortress up there. Can I go up even higher so that the corners of this tower aren't in the way? That way has a lot of stuff. I'm curious about that little fort up there. I think it's gonna be a pain in the butt to get to. Uh, but yeah, so those two games are on my list. Trover and... Um, Outer Wilds. I also have a couple of other games uh, like Florence, which is a very short one. Um, I think it's only like a, a one or two hour game, so I'll definitely play that just because it's, it's so short. Why not? Uh, and then Grizz. I think it's called Grizz. Pyro, thank you for the lurk. Bird, pick me up. Ugh. This might be, this might be too hard to get to. so steep. Don't understand Rick and Morty and the Simpsons sense of humor. Yeah. Yeah. It's not for everybody. I think it got really popular because it was somewhat, somewhat nuanced when it was new, right? It was the only thing that was making those types of jokes, I guess. Uh, but then, I don't know. I get This isn't a fully developed thought. Something about Rick and Morty made it very popular when it first came out, and then it got worse. <laughs> Let's see, where's, where's my... Oh, there's like a, a whole thing up there too. Where is this tower that I came up here for? Where is it? Dave, hi. You took a nap at 8 p.m. and woke up at 10 p.m. It's almost three now, jeez. Uh, is the tower just like in here now? Cause I'd be somewhat annoyed. And I wanna go up there, but there's gotta be an easier way. There's just, there's just gotta. Oh, 
Pokemon Moonlight, you uh, you thought Rick and Morty was amazing for a while, like really spoke to you and then just stopped following the seasons. Yeah, that's kind of the same thing that happened to me. Um, there were especially a couple of episodes regarding like family, um, oh, family story and, and B plot that I was like, ooh, I like this. Um, but I think it, it got a little bit more goofy. Uh, they, they started to steer away from the more serious, uh, topics. Is how it appeared to me anyways. How the heck do I get up here? Maybe I can't get up, go there yet. Oh, look at this, there's, an, there's a ladder. We found it, we found the path. started just spamming. <gasps> Wait, why'd I fall? Why'd I fall? Oh, the bird couldn't carry me. Oh, I can't come up here yet. I can't do anything here. Damn it. Damn it. Oh, I'm sorry, bird. I've upset my bird. Okay. You really lost faith in it after the the sauce and pickle thing. Yeah, that's where it got, like, just embarrassing, right? And just like, oh, I'm ashamed. <laughs> I'm ashamed to have any part in this show. Which is funny, because, like, the whole reason that episode was so good was how they were really, um, you know, making it about how the whole Pickle Rick thing was the problem. Like, they were making fun of Rick the whole time. I, I, I was like, wow, this is actually quite clever, but then it just blew up on the internet in the worst possible way. Ooh, there's something in that little cave down there. Now I can go to that. Which I almost feel like I should because everything else is lower, so it'll just be easier. Yeah, all right, we're going back. We're going back. Dave, thanks for getting that ban. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Fan base was definitely the 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 killer on that episode. After that, it just like was never quite the same. I think that the the show had to make a decision in that moment about which audience they were going to cater to. Um and I think that they had a lot of outside pressure from the network about which they thought was going to spend the most money. And that's probably going to be the younger audience, right? The younger audiences are more likely to have a larger following. But I don't remember, like, hating some of the stuff after that. Like, I, it was it was more 50-50. Some episodes I liked and some I didn't. Um, how far? Yeah, they definitely didn't think the fans would take it that far. They were like, oh, we'll do this funny joke. And just, just for laughs, you know what? Let's bring the sauce back. And they just... Dead. They never would have done it <laughs> if they had known the fans would react that way. My god. How can? No, there must be more. This cannot end. This cannot be the Oracle's answer. It cannot. Well, gotta know what, what's in here. Ooh. Oh, bird, I'm sorry you're upset. It's gonna be okay. Huh. 
bird is just upset in here. So I can't do anything that relies on the bird. Oh shit. I should have I should have been running during that jump. Well, we'll go down here. We'll see what this is about. What's this guy's dying words? I am who they call the uh, who they called the Oracle, but I could uh, I could see beyond what most could. But even those who see as I do cannot provide every person with guidance. There is no single path that everyone should live. Let's try that again. What? Ah. Uh. I think we have to start from this side. Just to have enough momentum to get all the way across. Maybe even up here would help. Damn it. Didn't hit it. It's okay. It's alright. If we were able to do everything on the first try, it wouldn't be fun. How's the pathless been? I love it. What? Oh god, you missed. Uh, oh, this is something wild, by the way. I didn't get around to making this like the official question of the day but this is the unofficial question of the day uh but do do any of you in chat not have an inner monologue i i need to know like do you have to say things out loud when you're thinking about them yeah that's that's the old question of the day that i haven't changed yet <laughs> i was gonna make it this one but if you have any goals for the new year, feel free to feel free to share them. Damn it. How did I do that so easily the first time? You think about things way too much before you say them. See, I'm the same way. I absolutely think about things constantly. What, what the fuck? I'll have like whole conversations in my brain before even like opening my mouth. What if I just make, what if I make sure that I don't have to turn if I just go? All right, there we go. I think it's a lot harder to turn than I thought it would be. Uh, let's not go that way because Clearly, these pillars are here for a reason. Okay. Let me know if the music's too loud. It keeps getting louder. <laughs> Only goal for 2022 is to take it easier. That's... That's solid. I was talking with a coworker earlier today about how um there we go bird you're safe oh you're safe it is okay uh but i was talking with a coworker earlier about how like overwhelmed and stressed so at my job right now i'm i'm putting together a couple of presentations uh, one of them is about, like, time management, kind of standard ma standard work stuff. The other one is about burnout and, like, preventing burnout. And it's crazy how, like, the amount of work that my department has hasn't increased. It's probably gone down. Um, but people are super burned out and, like, overwhelmed and overworked and... It's weird, like, we have way shorter fuses now than we ever have in the past. 
These naive fools, I'm no oracle. I wanted only isolation. They come to me for answers, as uh, if I can tell them how to live their lives. I cannot give answers that uh, does not exist. No one can tell another how to live his life. Seems okay for now, you can hear me fine. Cool, perfect. Uh, what am I missing? Oh, we have to actually light. I get it. All right, bird, send him back. We gotta go back. Come on. There it goes. Yeah, we got it. Oh, we're in like a different area. This is a, a, a bear, a bear one. The Oracle does not respond to my summons, so I wait. I have waited my entire life for purpose. Uh, I can wait a few more days. Uh, I don't think you, I don't think you could. I should have checked where I was going before I just... This is always where I want to go. Wherever that is, it's like that's where I was gonna be, but I guess not anymore. We'll go to this little tower here. We'll get whatever is going on. There's another one up there. We'll just kind of go around, I guess. But yeah, I don't know. It's like, it's really important now more than ever to just take time for yourself. And like, especially with a lot of people who work from home. Um, Allie! Allie, thank you so much for the resub! 10 months, holy shit! Has it been that long already? My god. Um... But yeah, like, we have to take time for ourselves, but we also have to just be more appreciative of our time, you know? Like... You can flap an additional time in the air. And what I mean by that is, like, instead of, like, multitasking and, like, half committing to something, it's like, if you're gonna do something, just do it. Just give it, give it a good attempt, whether that's like a new hobby or a project that you're working on or work or whatever. I just have this all in my brain because I've been doing a lot of reading about uh, time management and stuff for work right now. <laughs> but I do think it's legitimately good stuff. Where are we going? Where are we going? I really wanted to check out this. This, like, uh, volcano-esque area. I don't know. I think it's just on my mind because it's also the new year. And, like, setting those little goals for yourself about, like, well, how can I make better use of my time? How can I spend less time on Netflix and, and feel more rewarded for what I'm doing on a day-to-day? -day? Um, but that's also much easier for me to say than others because I don't have too much hardship going on right now. I'm very very lucky that whoa what the fuck is down here <clears throat> I gotta know I <clears throat> excuse me oh my god I just have something in my throat let me just grab some tea let me just grab some tea oh thank you for the hydrate alley Ooh, made a fresh pot of tea just for stream. Yeah, the giant red storm. Ugh. 
Huh. Something about the the weather has just been like messing with my throat lately. You're trying to use your time off to teach yourself things all the time even though you don't get far with them? Yeah, I just like, I'll eventually, I'll, I'll enjoy binge watching TV. I binge watch a lot of TV. Um, at a point, I start to feel like I'm withering away as a person. <laughs> Um, and that's what I like about streaming so much is it takes something that used to, that I used to really enjoy and put a lot of hours in, playing video games, and made it feel productive. I don't think I'm supposed to be in here. I think this was the battle arena for our last boss. Am I like trapped in here? Am I going to be able to get out? Did I fuck up? Did I- did I fuck up? Oh god, what do I do? Oh no. Oh, oh, is that, an, is that an exit? I was like, we'll just hurl ourselves into lava. Better quit now. Better than walking around. Okay. You started scrapbooking and journaling. It's been a nice break during the day. That's- that's really sweet. I like that. I never really, uh, got in- I know you said journaling, which is different- different than a diary, but I always kind of wanted to keep a diary and then just, like, never kept up with it. With, like, a personal journal. Yeah, the bird is so strong, it can just- it's just- it's my hero. You go, bird. Heck yeah. Alright. Big lava bubble, you stay where you are. I just want this little chest. Damn it, it's moving. Fuck. It always moves when I get close to it, it's not fair! Fuck. Okay. Oh god, all the people. Those just floating skeletons. Dave, you love streaming for the same reason, plus it feels like you can share things with people, which is also super fun. Oh yeah. Totally, totally. Yeah, I was... I definitely talked to, to you guys. Um, and everybody on Twitch way more than I talk to, like, anybody in real life. It's just been harder to keep up with people. Oh, I thought I was closer. Come on, bird. Sir, sir, turn. Turn away. Don't worry about me, I'm just getting my bird. Thank you. Thank you. Your friends get jealous when you talk about us on here. Oh no. They could join us. They could they could hop on Twitch. We could all be friends. That would be the- that would be- that'd be goals, right? Just get everybody on Twitch. And then we can all hang out. Okay. There's something up here that intrigues me. Is this like a- Oh, I've already- I've already done this little- this little... one. Yeah. Yeah, this one's been completed. Um, okay. There's a couple things over that way. I guess that's the clearest area. 
it's so weird trying to navigate in this game because you're going around this giant thing that just moves and so like I want to efficiently go through all the areas but it's just not always possible. So not for them. Ooh, I see, I see a, a sigil. Um... Oh, you're replacing us. <laughs> oh, man. They should know. They're invited. The cold has cured Kumo of his generosity, but it has not cured his jealousy. I've never seen such rage. I've spent many years praying to the great Kumo. He will not bestow his blessings and warn the and warm the plateau. If we must sacrifice to sorrow to bring back our warmth, then that is what we must do. The gods the God Slayer has truly tested our faith. Oh great sorrow, hear our prayer. We hereby dedicate this blood sacrifice to you and hope that you will return our summer and bring warmth back to this land. Oh, oh no, Kumo is here. Forgive us, Kumo. Yikes, all right, that's dark. It's gotten darker. Great Kumo's benevolence is matched only by his warmth. He is good friend to those who deserve it, uh, where to those who do not. sacrifice like what the heck that didn't work for the Mayans have you all ever watched like documentaries about the Mayan civilization because it's like the darkest shit I've ever heard in my life it's like unbelievable love that shit yeah it's like i i've always been a morbid morbidly curious person with that kind of thing um like the chernobyl uh documentary series well like dramatic documentary i think is incredible um i used to just watch like regular documentaries about um, about Chernobyl and that whole disaster. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm into that shit. It is fascinating to me. Um, you have not enlightened you. So, the Mayans, um, they used to do a lot of sacri ritual sacrifice for better crops, um, and better prosperity. Um, especially during, like, crazy droughts and, uh, huge, like, um, huge amounts of famine and, and all, all kinds of stuff like that. Uh, and when they found ruins from these sacrifice areas, it was, like, hundreds of and hundreds of individuals out of these like relatively small communities like a large percentage of people were being sacrificed they also found like this was a lot of this was underground and like in the temples and stuff but in this cave they found just like a whole dumping ground basically that was a shrine area of babies <laughs> just baby skulls like everywhere hundreds and hundreds of them. It's just like... What the fuck? What? <laughs> like, dear lord, I can't even imagine what it's like living 
in, in that time. Can't, can't even. Uncovering the Mines is a great doc. They recently uncovered miles of undiscovered ruins that they think will take decades to uncover that completely changed their view on the Mayans. I am going to make a note of that because I really want to check it out. Uncovering the Mayans. Uncovering. There we go. As long as I get the word, I'll be able to remember. Okay. Yeah, I can't remember which documentary is the one that I was talking about, but it was on YouTube. It was like one of those little 20 or 30 minute documentaries. I watched it a couple years ago. <laughs> For fuck's sake. <laughs> the ancestors. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> All right, so we got a tower over there. We got that other tower there. What the fuck is left? I'm gonna go to the top of this tower so we can get an idea. <laughs> no, Allie, it's hilarious. <laughs> it's especially funny just because of how you phrased it. I think that's what it's called before they thought they lived in small communities, and with that they discover that they lived in giant cities that could rival Athens. What the fuck? I didn't even know that. I thought it was a lot of, like, smaller, smaller cities, smaller, like, villages. Alright, so there's something up there. There's a couple things over that way. I wish that stuff would stay lit up a little bit better. But that's just, that's fine. It works. There is that tower, but I kind of think that's where we're supposed to, like, end up. And I, I don't know if I can do very much if I go there now. I guess we're here, right? So we might as well check it out. Get back, get back on the lap, get back on the bridge, get back on the bridge. I like this little goat. Oh, there's definitely something that we can do here. see it happen, but it did. How am I going to get that one? Where's the next spot? Oh, there it is. It's hiding. so roundabout. Come on. This, this can't be. Do I have to get this one? think so.
Damn it. Oh no! Oh no! No, 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 no! No, 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 I just noticed how bad this is. Oh, fuck. Oh shit. Don't send me all the way back down. Oh dear lord. That would have taken so long to get it back up. <laughs> okay. Um, they discovered this a few years ago. It's super recent. It's hard because the jungle is so thick. Glider just to look through the trees. Some sort of, like, uh, sonar. That's cool. Alright, made it. Made it back. Yeah, the bird was like, nah, uh, nah, uh. I am tired. This is just too much. What if I just do it from this one? I swear. Oh, I was working way too hard. So with this little, with this little, well, make a snowman? I wish I could. Um, uh, my brother's like, you're done. You know what you've done. Uh. Hey, wolf. Whatever. Whatever. Do I have the uh, Martin Luther King Day off? What day is that? I'm bad at numbers. And dates. Probably? The 17th? I hope so. I like these goat, goat skulls. Oh, the bird is not gonna be happy about this. He has in fact decided to not. Let's see. Can I go around? Oh no! Oh shit. Well, that was my fault. Damn it. Bird. Could you have been any more useless? No. Yeah, Allie, I really want to. I really, really want to. We could even tr we could even test that out, like this weekend. Um, like, seriously, any time that works for you, we should test it out. Uh, my schedule is pretty flexible. If I was Geralt, I'd be dead. <laughs> Just the Dark Souls, you have died. to make yourself useful while you're here. Alright. I'm gonna I'm gonna get up there. It's gonna happen. Okay. You're free? Okay, let's do it right now. We'll do it this week. I think I even have it installed. Like, I have it ready to go.
Who would be who, though? Ooh, good question. Ali, do you have a preference? Please don't make me play what's his face. <laughs> All right, I will, I'll play the problematic man, problematic husband, and everything that you say, I'll say, but actually, Right? That'll be the whole stream, right? You'll be like, I think that this is rather toxic behavior. I'll be like, well, actually, uh, it's not. And I'll explain why. <laughs> um, where am I supposed to go? You'd be so tilted. <laughs> that would be the goal, though. That would be my personal goal, is like, how tilted can I personally make Allie? <laughs> Dave, I'm glad that you would be excited for this, because I am excited for this. Like, since I noticed it was on Game Pass, I was like, we have to. We have to play it. How, man, how am I supposed to do this? Oh, wait, can I just, hold up, hold up. I think I found, I found the cheat for getting into the building. I just have to pet my bird for like a second. Good bird. Aw. Oh, it's so cute. We got a little nose little bump. Alright, take me. Take me up. Take me up. Up, up, up. As high as you can go. Oh, it didn't work. Fuck. I was hoping that I would be able to, like, glide in, you know, even if the bird dropped me, but the bird just, like, will not. It will not even. It's like a girl in line at Starbucks, like a preteen girl in line at Starbucks, like, literally can't even. Twenty twenty two goals. Playing, yeah, playing... Uh, it takes two. <laughs> Dave. <laughs> is Hardy still here? Oh yeah, he is. He's back there. He's kind of hiding a little bit behind the, the blanket, or the coat. Okay. Damn. I feel that's got to be the solution, right? Unless it's like Nope. That's not high enough. Fuck yeah. Did it. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Didn't even need you, bird. Oh, wow. That, that worked. Wow. Okay. Okay, so we just have to get the other one now. Is that the same one? Do I have to get them all, like, in a certain amount of time? Let's see. Let's just wait here for a second and see if it 
recharges. Or maybe this is a different one? No, it looks the same. You could totally, totally be Cody, though. You're just kidding. No, I'm sold for our current setup. Like, I, I get to pretend to be a, a toxic man. I actually love it. Did it not hit it? Damn it. We dragging Cody. I don't even know the characters well enough to like really rag on them, but I I am enjoying the conversation for what it is. <laughs> I'm sure that both of them have completely equal values and feelings. They both have their... Oh, I fell. Damn it. Uh, one thing about the controls in this is it's a little bit hard to describe, but uh, it, when you're running, you can't turn as, as much. Um, you kind of get locked into your direction a little bit. Like... You can't make really sharp turns, like, immediately. It's not super responsive. It's kind of like... Uh... Kind of like surfing or skiing or something is, is how it feels like it controls. And it works really well when you're, like, out gliding around, but when you're just trying to solve the puzzle quickly, it's, like, not made for that. Okay. May was super relatable. I'm trying to remember what I do know from watching you play, Dave. I remember, like, wasn't it something like May wanted independence and the the guy Cody he wanted more codependency something like that like they weren't jiving because they each wanted different things from the other man so that's not the way to get this and There's also this one, which this one should be easier to get. Maybe I can just go up on this? might be, uh, might be biased because you related, uh, to May more. I mean, maybe, but I don't know. It just depends if you can look at the full picture, right? Uh, I think my bird is still... I swear you followed, like, three times. No worries, no worries. Ugh, I know how that Twitch Twitch game goes sometimes. It's Twitch has a mind of its own. Um Alright, my bird is still very unhappy. We're gonna we're gonna We're gonna fix his day. Uh oh, something I've started doing, and I don't I I probably won't keep up with it to be honest, but I'm gonna give it a good effort. Um I saw this post on Reddit uh where someone 
took like a, a grid and they made each square represent one day of the calendar year. Uh, and then each day that they had, if it was like a good day or an average day or a great day or a bad day, they would just color code uh, the day and just kind of like keep track of like how it went. How did, how did their year go? Was their year average? Was it above average? Was it below average? And I've been curious about it because I think that I, in my day-to-day -day life, tend to hyperfixate on the negative and it really drags down the rest of my day even if it's like a pretty small thing maybe it was like one conversation that i had and then i'm just stewing on it for hours because i never leave this box <laughs> um but having a little bit of self-reflection right at the end of the day maybe that would help i don't know all right so how do i do this how is the best way to do this? It looks like I have to drop a thingy-mabob. And I feel like there was another one. Like, that wasn't the only one. Related to Cody in some ways, but May ended up being super relatable. Yeah. I can see how that game would have both with merit. If it wasn't relatable, the game wouldn't be successful, right? So they kind of have to make it some broad strokes. Okay, so there's two left here. How do I do it? Oh yeah, see, like, I totally just, like, skid right there. You haven't noticed? <laughs> Listen, Allie. Listen. I don't... I don't... It's fine. Everything's fine. I don't complain. What are you talking about? I do not complain. I'm just, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Uh, okay. How the fuck do I do this? Game! I, I know, I know you didn't. <laughs> oh, I said I'm just kidding! I said I'm just kidding. I made it, I made it, I made it. Yeah. Oh, for a second I thought I was gonna be locked in here. All right, just one more, I think. But we're gonna have to do that again. Also, I heard Harvey, he wants to leave. How, how selfish of him, really. Ellie has been, like, the cats have totally role reversed recently. So it used to be Harvey was in the room with me all day and just, oh, god damn it. Harvey was in the room with me all day and just, like, loved to hang out and just be with me, right? This week it's been Ellie. Ellie never hangs out with me, and she's just like, I want to be sitting in your lap for hours at a time. And I'm like, I can't say no to you. Like, you, this is so rare that, like, this is just my life right now. Um, it was funny. I was at work, and it wasn't, like, the end of the day. No, it was, it was like, ar ar around lunchtime. I had just, like, finished some meetings, and she hopped up on my lap, and I was just like, you're the best, oh my god. And then she, like, settled in and, like, laid down and started to go to sleep. I was like, I guess I just have to take my lunch break now. Like, it is just lunch break time. I don't have a choice. What else am I supposed to do? Hmm. 
did it. I did it. I did it. Get on, get on the thing. There we go. All right, bird. Have you relaxed yet? <laughs> 2022 is the year we swap. I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. I love my cat. Like, Harvey isn't even my cat. It's nice to have a little bit of bonding moment with my own cat. Usually Ellie's just like, I'll just hang out in the living room. Just leave me be. Good bird. Oh, oh, <laughs> it just gets cuter. Like the further into the game we get, the cuter the the bird love is. <laughs> if the bird gets hurt, I'm done. I will also alt F4 on the spot. Don't worry, Dave. I won't put either of us through that. Harvey? Buddy? I'm gonna let him out. He is panicking over the door being closed. What must it be like? What must it be like in that brain? Just like intense feelings all the time. warm blanket i cannot sit at this desk if i don't have this blanket <laughs> it's been so cold lately and it's weird because it's not cold enough that our heat has been turning on like it's been relatively warm so so the heat doesn't turn on but that means that the heat doesn't turn on <laughs> Also, we definitely have enough sigils to, like, go do this tower, but that will trigger the boss fight, like, for sure. There's no other towers left. So... Ah, I'm torn. Like... There's stuff down there, maybe? I don't know, it's, it's... We can probably just move on. I don't know how much of the game is left. But if I was going for a completionist run, it wouldn't be this anyways, because I missed a lot in the early game. Uh, one thing that would be cool is after we defeat the final boss if the game just like lets us keep exploring that would be really cool reminds you from the bird from odyssey I haven't seen I, I i think i've seen like pictures of the bird but i haven't played the game so i don't know what can you like pet the bird can you pet the bird in odyssey that's important i might play it if you can <laughs> the beacons are lit gondor calls for aid I made it through uh, blight, darkness, madness, but I will not survive this cold. I cannot straighten my fingers. I cannot think my thoughts. There is not a natural cold. Tis not a natural cold. It's a chill that infests the bones, that enters your heart and remains there. This cold is meant to kill. I read that this was once the most lush and vibrant of all the plateaus. The God Slayer has frozen the very life from it. We're gonna get him, don't you worry. Don't you worry, we're gonna get him. You stand still and she comes to your arm and you give her a nice pat! Oh! Okay. That alone might convince me.
I don't know if that's enough to play that game for me. Uh, man, you're, you're really getting to know my taste in games, Sally. You're, you're probably right. I was never really drawn into the Assassin's Creed games. The final obelisks are lit. Obelisks? Obelisks. Obelisks. <laughs> All right, let's get him. My youngest child waits for you in the storm. He will not surrender gently. Don't worry, we're gonna get him. Just like Bezos. Come on, Jeffrey, get him. We've all been sussed. <laughs> I have had that song stuck in my head for like a solid three days. I'll just be like in the kitchen making breakfast. CEO entrepreneur born in 1964. <laughs> it's just so catchy. Are we back? We back? We back? We back? We good? We good? Sick. Thick. All right, let me just give it a second. <laughs> uh, let's see, you're all gonna get the go live notification again. Um, but that's fine. No biggie. Everything's green. We're good. We're good. Uh, my Somehow my Wi-Fi must have switched or something. I don't know. I don't know. That's weird. You didn't miss anything. Well, thank you for letting me know. I'm glad that I saw it. I just did something silly. I was like, you know what? The music is like a little bit quiet. I'm gonna turn it down. And then I immediately remembered like, I'm in a boss arena, what am I doing? Come on, get him. Is he bounding? Look at him, he's bounding. <laughs> Look at him go. <laughs> Why is that so funny to me? Fuck. <laughs> that we conquered was the hardest. Get him! Go bird! Hell yeah! Got him! 
Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Got the bird. Oh, yeah. These guys are 100% just divine beasts. Divine beasts. Every time we find one of those little areas that gets those little bird nubbins, it's a... Uh, oh, well, that that's fine. All right, all right, all right. I put my tea down. I'm, I'm paying attention, game. I'm here. Gotta be quicker, got it. <gasps> See, look, it's the, this is the rock divine beast. This is the lava lizard, 100%. Like, not even a question. This is the lava lizard. Does that make us Link or Zelda? Um, one of those. Yeah. Did he wiggle his butt? Did he wiggle his butt before he jumped down? <laughs> so cute. <laughs> I hit it in time. <laughs> he did indeed. I'm gonna clip that later. I need it in my life. <laughs> I bet he's gonna do it again when I get him this time. Ready, ready, ready? Okay, we're gonna watch. We're gonna watch. Oh, I guess it's because I missed that prompt before. <laughs> I don't even care if I die, this is just too funny. Oh god. You can't hold- so normally you have to hold the trigger all the way down on these, but some of them it's like they don't want you to. You just need to tap it. for trying. I'll, I, I'll get it later. After the stream. Sometimes, like, uh, after, after stream, I'll, like, quickly skim through my VOD to check both for, like, audio levels, make sure it sounded okay. There we go. But also, just, like, if there's anything clip-worthy. to watch more of that game that you've been playing. Ugh. Why am 
I not getting anywhere? Like, I feel like I'm missing something. Twitch mobile get good already. Yeah, so Twitch mobile is like way shittier than I thought. Um, I didn't know that you have to pay more for subs on mobile than you do on, uh, on desktop. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think that there's, it's slightly more expensive on mobile because you're using the mobile app, which has fees associated with it, as opposed to the website, which doesn't. Yeah, it's like an extra dollar or something. Or, um... I remember... Uh, I remember British was talking about that the other day. Yeah, give me my special arrow. Thank you, bear. But yeah, Ali, thank you for the good luck if you're still here. I will be catching your stream in a bit. Stretch. Thanks, polar bear. I appreciate it. Ooh. You've cleansed my children of their curse. You have undone so much evil. Yeah, we're the we're, we're the greatest. We're the greatest. Now ascend to the floating isle. Confront the God Slayer. Let's do it. Let's fucking go. Might of Kumo. Press and hold to flap while gliding to perform a super flap. This move will consume a large number of flaps. You can flap an additional time. Uh, okay. Whoa! Hold up. There are seven more of these? Uh... Uh, what? How do I perform a super flap? Uh, I have so many questions all of a sudden. There's seven more? I want to do this. <laughs> I want to find them all. Fuck. I think what's going to end up happening with this game for me is I think I'm going to end up replaying it and and not like 100%ing it because I'm not like a huge 100% gamer type of, type of person but find more secrets than I did in this first playthrough. There's stuff over there. Which I am tempted to go over there. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. We're gonna go. We're gonna have a qu a quick side ta side task. I'm 
Might have to look up how to do the super flap, too. Oh, it's not that button. Uh, can I reach it? Can I reach it? Oh, so close. Fuck. That's fine. Just recharge and then we'll jump up. What's going on up here? There is something up here. I know it. I saw the red glow. Is that up here? Ah, here it is. Up one more. Okay. Tell me. What is the order? What's the order, though? Let's try... Ugh. Before, it always would just play them back. I have to stand here. Here we go. Yay! Got it! Easy, easy, easy. But these aren't the sigils that we were looking for anyways. These are just more of the Korok seeds. Um, but, hmm. I just can't believe there's that many hidden in this level that I can't find. Because I thought I got a lot of them. This area is cool, though. All right, well, here's one. Here's one hidden one. All right, we got this guy down there. We've got some down here with dead people on them. Let's see, are they supposed to be mirrored? I wonder what that is over there, that, that light. That's something further out. Okay, so we've got... Come on. Ah, lizard man. Not that one. That one. Yep, that's that lizard man. The second one was the was it the deer? Uh other lizard thing. They're like all lizards. That one. 
Yeah. That boy. Okay. This last one should be... the Hydra. Alright. So then this one, maybe we can guess? No, no, not that one. Fuck. It's hard to select which thing you're aiming at. Fuck, all right. Some of them I'm like, that can't possibly be it. That's too easy. And then that is the answer. <laughs> Never think about these puzzles too hard. So the only thing I'm like super curious about before we end the game is that, that symbol. You do the same thing in games all the time. Just like totally overthink a puzzle and the game devs were like, come on, you don't have to think of that hard. We, we weren't trying to like break your neck with this puzzle. Haven't been here. Hey. Got him. All right, let's go across the bridge a little bit. A little bit of a ways. Let's just keep going until we get to that neighboring thing. Perfect. Keep rolling. Man. I'm excited to play like my lineup of games that I have. Um, it's funny, like, I feel like I'm gonna be playing games in order of length and do, like, all the shortest games that I have on my list first, just because I want to get through, like, more of them, you know? What is up with this? Oh, no, does this redo the boss fight? What did that do? Oh, does it just change? It changes the the sun? Does it dim the lights? Does it remove the blue glare? A blue blue light filter? Or do we travel? Did we teleport? Oh, we teleport. We're going back and forth. That makes sense. Wow, this area is a lot bigger than I thought it was. Like this whole biome. Huh. Nifty. I do kind of want to go up there. I don't know if this tower is the best way to do it. This is kind of like fast travel, I guess. Oh, 
Okay. Yeah, look at that. At least I think that's what it is. That other one might actually be a better route. Now, this one's closer, but the other one has a bridge that we can, like, walk across to get there. We're just gonna go back and forth for a while. I'm so confused. Maybe... No, it is just changing the light. Am I crazy, you guys? I think it's just changing the light and I get crazy disoriented. Okay, okay. It's also weird because it changes your orientation when you... Okay, yeah, so that's back on that side. It is the same. It is the same. God, that's confusing. I have no good reason for it. And I'm gonna have to look up how to do that, like, super... Super, uh, jump. Because I do not remember. Yeah. Let me up. Oh, there's a... We'll take the elevator. We don't need to be fancy. One, the one true path to Parabola. The first half of my journey ends here. The second half I commence in the new world where I shall walk the one true path. What a blessing it is to have purpose. So long I wandered, aimless searching, never knowing the world was set up against me. The Pathfinder taught me otherwise. I am so grateful his path has crossed mine. I loved Nume. I worshipped her for many years. She was kind, but she stands in the way of the one true path. I wish there was another way. Whew. My friends, I owe you everything to you. When I was imprisoned, you freed me. When I was besieged by the ignorant old guard, you fought with me. When I needed to pass deadly trials to gain the mask of the ancients, you helped me forward. And now... When I required entry to the spirit realm to acquire this sun sword, you cleared the cleared me a path. It is time I return that in kind. I must deliver us to the one true path. But to do that, I must tell you what I saw when I wore the mask of the ancients. I saw as the tall ones see. I saw a terrible chaos of this world. It is born of chaos, forged by it, ruled by fickle gods of it. I swore... I swore that I would find you a path, but the mask revealed that this world has none. So we have no choice but to remake it. This world must end, and a new one must be born in its place. A world built around the one true path. With this mask and this sword, I now have the power I need to create a new realm. But first, this world must end, and one cannot end a world whose gods still live. You have long known me as Pathfinder, but that can no longer be my title. I must now become God Slayer. Ooh, all right, we're getting some real lore here. Okay. You've given me your time. Uh, there will be pain, great pain, but it will be worth it. You've given me your time, your sweat, your belief. I must now ask for your blood. This mask and this sword make me godly, but they do not make me stronger than the tall ones. If you sacrifice yourselves in my name, you will give me the power I need to rise high above these gods of chaos. You will give me the strength I require to become the god slayer. So lay yourselves down upon this holy ground and close your eyes. When you open them again, 
you will do so on the one true path. Dang. Okay, so... So this guy was... Uh... One of... One of us. One of the... The pathless. Immense power lies beyond the store. Beware. When you use the sword's power, it powers also uses you. The moon bow and sun sword. Ooh, are we getting a new bow? Are the two most powerful weapons ever to draw blood in the realm of man. The only match for one of these uh, uh, ornaments is its sister. So we need this, actually. We need this to... But we can't take it. That's super interesting. I thought that it would give us the bow and we would need the bow to fight the god. Isn't the god slayer? But it doesn't seem like we can go in there. Let's see, maybe, so the guy has the sword, maybe we get the bow in a different spot. That's not exactly what I thought was going to happen. It's a little bit underwhelming. <laughs> oh, it's the other Pathfinders. The ones who came before us. Is that really all that's here? Alright. That's fine. So, we want to go up there. Let's do it. I'm ready. Let's fight the good fight. We can take him. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid! Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah, we actually got further up the mountain just with our bird than I thought we would. nice just having infinite stamina. I'm gonna 
just fly right up this mountain. Getting there. Oh, finally. Up, 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 up. I should have, like, looked around at the world while we're up here. Glad it's not too late. Cool. Alright, are we ready to show this guy who is boss? Let's go! Oh, cool. Is this just like... Thank you, Dave. I'm gonna need it. We're, we're making headway. We're going. Looks like we're in the right area. confused as to why they stopped having those those light balls. Hunter, your hubris has betrayed you. Now see the secret of your persistence. This is no ordinary eagle. Don't you touch my goddamn bird! You put my bird down right now! <laughs> Not the bird! We're gonna save the bird. Dave, I've made it my life's mission. Don't you worry. We're gonna save our bird. Aw, oh, sick, a Hydra bird. Now I go to the end of the world and create the one true path. You're gonna try, man. All right, first we have to defeat our best friend. Uh, or not. Or our bird's just gonna leave us. All alone. Alright, we're gonna- we're gonna go help our bird. Oh, shit. Okay, so we have to, like... This is a stealth section. This is the end of Journey with the stealth area. Oh, I should've waited. Oh, we're gonna make it. No, we got this. Okay, perfect. Yeah, okay. Our bird is just possessed. It's gonna be fine. Made it. Whoa. It's so cool looking. Uh, where am I supposed to go next? I think it... I assume it's this way, because I can't... I can't actually turn my camera. It's locked right now. Oh, we're dead. Oh, we're gonna get sent back to the beginning. Yeah. That's actually, that's fine, that's fine. 
As long as we start moving, like now. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Shit. Fuck. How did I fuck this up? Third time's the charm. Third time's the charm. Just go straight. Oh, so close, so close, so close. All right, we're in the shadow. Yeah, yeah. Just barely. You know what? Let's wait for a second. Let's just wait here. We'll let the bird come around, and then we're just gonna gun for it. Oh. Do you just circle around unless you see me? That's kind of worse, actually. Because we're gonna get spotted and then blown back. Oh, maybe we'll make it. <gasps> we're gonna make it! Yeah. You wish. You wish. Third time was, in fact, the charm. You gotta love when that happens. Alright, let's go get our super-powered bow. Then we can fight our eagle friend and then the god slayer himself. Something like that. It's all the gods that we fought. Your, pow your powers together. You will help. Help us. Help me help you. Oh, look at them all. Hi. Super bow. Yeah. Hell yeah. Okay. We're gonna get you. This false quest of yours must end. Release the eagle from your curse. Fucking better. You would challenge me very well. Your path ends here. Shot 
Better even back her riding. Me too. I will. I will like send a strongly worded letter to the game devs and be like, you have no idea how many times I recommended this game and then you just ruined it. Oh, I can't believe that hit me. Ow! Where the fuck am I? Get up! Get up! I love the lighting the colors used in this game a lot. I know it's not the first to do it, but they pulled out the stops. Yeah, I was, you know, I've been thinking about that too. So this game doesn't really do anything super unique. Um, it, it feels very reminiscent of some of their previous games like Abzu, uh, and I know it's not Giant Squid's game, but Journey seems like this is very heavily inspired by Journey. Um, but even though you can see a lot of different games in this game, it works very well, and it's fun. Like, it's unique enough to stand as its own game, but even still, uh, it has plenty of merit on its own. Ow, man, okay. But yeah, like, I would never recommend this game to someone who wants, like, a super unique and challenging gaming experience. I don't think it's a particularly hard game. But if, if you like pretty fun games, then... You really can't argue. Um... And even a lot of just, like, the combat stuff works very well. Like, when I'm running around here, ugh, and not fucking up, uh, the camera is all auto-locked. I can't control the camera at all in this part of the game. Uh, which normally I hate. I'm like, just give me my camera control. I know what I like. And this game's like, no, I know what you need. <laughs> It's very smooth. Yeah, I haven't had a single performance issue with the game. And I'd say this game is a, a lot better than Abzu. Which I liked Abzu a lot too, but I just this one's just a better game. Get him! Okay, okay. I'm trying to focus a little bit. game there's no uh no no challenge in terms of of attacking or even just like uh, trying to find those little lights it just all auto locks on it's just very convenient it just makes it a leisurely fun gaming experience <laughs> this game thinks this is similar, or Steam thinks this is similar to Fallout 4. That's funny. Steam compares some strange games to one another. What? How did that hit me? That's not fair. 
But yeah, also like you don't die in combat. Like the worst that happens is you get kicked out of the ring. I don't even think you lose your progress in the fight. <laughs> <laughs> And this now you wish. I just need to keep a better eye on my uh, uh, uh energy and not use it when I don't need it. Get him! Ha! Take that! But I remember Steam was comparing something recently to Outer Wilds, and I was like, really? Whatever game that is is similar to Outer Wilds? There's no game that's similar to Outer Wilds. Come on. Oh shit, oh shit. We got him, we got him. Everything's gonna be okay. We did it, we did it. Oh. Got camera control. What's going on? I wonder if we got lucky or if this light just spawns in whatever direction you start walking. When you began, you were new. You were young. You knew not where to turn. supposed to go back? I mean, we're supposed to go towards the light. That's the number one rule in game design, right? Follow the light. You were tested. You endured. Together, you grew stronger. I like that I can call my bird. The long echo is really nice. Makes us feel very alone. You were brought low. You found the very depths of your resolve. And you still charged forward. 
course. We're not just gonna let him win. I thought I saw something. Bird! Bird! I'm coming, I'm coming! I'm coming! It's gonna be okay! You're gonna be okay! Let me pet you back to health. It's gonna be okay, bird. We never named him. I know it's like the ancient one or whatever, but. <laughs> Together you will bring back the light. Hi. It's gonna, it's gonna be okay, everything's good. Dave, it's okay. Yay! If if the bird died, this would have been a shit game. Yeah. Game of the year. Bird lives. <laughs> Whatsoever. But it has very similar vibes to this. Really, just any game that Austin Winter, Win, Wintery, whatever his name is, like any game that he has done the music for, is a game worth checking out. Out 
today uh, that the music in this game is adaptive. Maybe not during this battle scene, but during the rest of the game when you're kind of like wandering around. There's a lot of, uh, if you go from like one area to the next, it'll gradually shift from one track to another. And so there's actually two album releases with this game. One that's just the regular album and the other one that has those adaptive changes, which is really cool. Get him, bird, get him! Smile Orange, welcome in. Abzu Journey and Sky Children of the Light Freon phone are very similar. Yeah, yeah, they all have similar vibes. All, uh, well, mostly the same devs. Um, Abzu is giant squid, but they have, like, same, same music. With no clear path to follow, they will never find... To find another's path to salvation is to never truly know it. Follow another. Each person must find their own way. The truth is a pathless land. Ah, oh, got him. <laughs> But yeah, all those games that you just listed, I really enjoy. Uh, Sky, I was kind of iffy about because it is like a mobile game with microtransactions. I'm just generally not into those. Um, but it, the gameplay just playing through it once was pretty fun. Uh, you've played some games from Giant Squid, but nothing super big. You played Florence. And Sayonara uh, Wild Hearts, which are great. Yeah, I'm excited to play Florence. Yeah, KY said that Florence was very good. Go, start this world anew. Spread the light. Go, bird, go! If you see Austin Winnery as the OST writer, the game's gonna be awesome. Yeah, hands down. That's a pretty easy bet. Aw, the pathless. We did it, you guys. We did it. We beat the game. The bird didn't die. The bird made it through. That is the most important part to be honest. Thanks for the GG's, Dave. I I loved this. This was awesome. I'm definitely going to play it again. Um, I want to try to be a little bit more completionist about it and like find all the sigils that I missed last time. Um, this was very fun. It wasn't like a super in-depth game. None of the puzzles were really challenging. There was like one or two that I had to like think about for a couple of minutes and come back to later. But uh, overall, it wasn't too challenging. Um, but it was all really fun and it felt very satisfying. The movement was very freeing, especially those upgrades that you get as you're going through the levels. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. Um, I definitely recommend picking it up. I really don't have anything negative to say about it other than like, it would be cool if it was longer. Um, having a couple of peppered in more challenging areas would have been nice, but it's possible I just missed those and just didn't see them. But most of it was like, light the torch, okay, light the next torch, light the next torch in the path. All right, you did it, good job! <laughs> but it was still fun. It was still like a really fun experience. And you got to pet the bird! That was the best part. That was clearly the best part. Yeah, really, really nice game. Um, yeah. If this had skirted into my games that I finished last year, it would have been up there as one of the, one of the, uh, um, one of my favorite games that I'd played over the year. 
Thanks for the GG's. You finished the game about an hour ago. To be honest, I would like more animals uh, in game like Abzu. Um, you don't feel that lonely there as here. Yeah, I, I can see that. I think that it was very intentional in this game to make you feel lonely and make you feel like the world was kind of empty. Um, because everything is dying and like the God Slayer is literally trying to kill everything. Um, so that, that does make sense to me. Um, that's my guess as to why they did that. They could have added in more gods, even, though. Um, like, if they wanted more bosses, they definitely could have added them. Um, yeah, it was... this was very good. This was very, very good. Cool. Relatively small team that made the game, too. And full QA. I didn't experience any bugs in this game. Good job, QA team. So did you like it, Smile? Do you prefer Smile or Orange? Let, let me know if you have a preferred... Uh, name abbreviation yeah qa <laughs> yeah um i but yeah i assume you liked it if you're if you're popping in and yeah it, it's nice that An annapurna is very good at picking the games that they want to publish and fund. Like, this was a very good pick for them, I think. Um, I wish it was more popular. Like, I can't believe how many people have never heard of this game. Um, like, I know it was a, a PlayStation and an Epic Games exclusive for a while, so that's probably why. Uh, but... Yeah. Uh, you once went through a wall, but overall no other bugs. Don't mind anything Smile or Orange. Okay, cool. It came out on Steam. Yeah, it was, it was released on Steam in November, so the game had been out for about a year. Um, yeah, it had been out for about a full year. until it came to Steam. And so and now it like it doesn't even have like great reviews on Steam. Which I'm like, really? So this game, now that I've finished it, I'm definitely I, I like to write um uh for anyone in, in chat or lurking who doesn't know, I like to write up little reviews about the games that I play and then I put them in a uh, a Word doc that I just keep track of throughout the year. Um just for fun. Um but when I write up the review for this, I'm definitely going to post it on Steam in the and recommend it. I don't do that very often on Steam, but this game I feel like I feel like warrants it. Um every other game it's like overwhelmingly positive, then you throw another checkbox and it's like, "Yep, I agree." But this one it doesn't have too much of that right now, so maybe maybe I can help tilt the tables a little bit towards people checking out the game. Who knows? Um, I mean, probably not. Does anyone actually read Steam reviews? Mm, probably not. Probably not. But I have fun with it anyways. Just thinking about writing a review to, to support the devs, but with your English uh, knowledge will pass for now, maybe in a year. People do read reviews? Yeah, I suppose. I guess, I, I mean, I read them, but I, I didn't know if I'm an anomaly or not. Um, but I, I think, I think, Smile, if you want to, I think you should. Even, like, if you're not confident about your writing, like, I would never have known if you hadn't brought it up. I mean, I know that we haven't talked back and forth very much, but, um, I wouldn't have even guessed. Um, but regardless, you can always keep it, like, a, a short and sweet review. It doesn't have to be, like, super extensive. 
whatever or whatever you're feeling. Yeah, no problem at all. Oh, man. It's funny, it looks like I haven't been live very long because of our internet mishap, but I guess it has been a couple of hours. Um, I'm tempted to play a different game, but I, I think... I think I might raid um, and then start a different game tomorrow or Friday. Not sure. Let me check if I have anything installed, ready to go, before I commit to anything. Uh, da -da 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 -da. I guess I don't have Florence installed. That was the only one I was like, maybe this one because it's relatively short, but I don't think I have it installed yet. So I, I don't think I'll be able to play that just yet. Where did... And then there's also... There's a couple games that I have on my to-do list. Um, I'm gonna, uh, in the next couple of days, I'm gonna be playing Grizz, and I'm gonna be playing Florence. I also picked up uh, the Outer Wilds DLC, so that's coming soon. And um, I also have, oh, fuck, uh, I just bought it. <laughs> like today too, uh, Trover. Trover saves the universe. I've been curious about that one, so I think we're gonna check it out. Uh, you can let your review to support it. Oh, I appreciate that. You no, don't feel don't feel pressured to or anything. I mean, if if you ever just want to talk about game reviews and stuff, feel free to join our Discord uh, at exclamation point Discord. Uh, a lot of us, uh, Dave here too, also write some game reviews, and and we have a little game discussion channel, and sometimes we'll go go back and forth, but this is a, a shared Discord among a few of us streamers, and uh, we all like to, to do stuff like that. So I think what I'm going to do, since I don't have the game installed that I was going to stream next, um, is I'm going to send you guys over to Allie, and I'm going uh, to go hang out in Allie's chat. Yeah, that's 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 the plan, I think. If you haven't played uh Little Misfortune, highly recommended. Ooh, okay. I'll check that out. Thanks for the recommendation. And you're very welcome. Thank you guys for hanging out and thanks for dropping by. Uh, I appreciate appreciate you uh dropping in. All right, I will catch you guys at the next one. Have a good night, and I will see you later. Take it easy.